I was just job hunting and I think I saw um, probably a post online and then I created an account, well I created a, a, a login and a password and then periodically I would get messages to my email to say that there are positions that I could apply for and I applied for some positions via the, the, via the, the platform. Well, I studied, um, I have a diploma as a developmental service worker, but I can work as a personal support worker. The company that hired me, they were looking for companions. It's almost the same as a PSW, it's just that you don't perform certain um, functions, like um, you don't provide personal care really and truly. You would just go to sit with the clients, probably assist them with any little, you know, chores they may have, stuff like that. Um, actually, it wasn't long, probably a, probably a couple of weeks. It wasn't long. Um, actually, before before you guys, I was really searching a lot. I was just really searching a lot for jobs and I just couldn't find anything. But once I got onto your platform, then it's like the, the gates just opened up for me from there. <laughs> I signed up with multiple with mul well, another website that my friend told me about and I was just doing random Google search and I was also searching on LinkedIn to you know to to find jobs so yeah those were the ways that I was I was doing because I mean I was new to Canada so it's not like I was a, I've been here you know for a while and I know a lot of stuff I was just trying to you know navigate my way around that It's, it was pretty much easy. I just went through the steps. I filled in my personal information, you know, name, address, telephone, email. And then I was asked to upload some documents, which it would include like a police check, uh, my certification that I would have had. I think I attached a copy of my resume. I didn't use a video, but I think I attached a copy of my resume. Um, and just anything that would be of value to help employers to see me and, you know, probably reach out to me to see if they would be interested in, you know, setting up an interview. As soon as I saw an email pop up, I would have, I would log in and check. I normally use my cell phone most times, but sometimes if I'm due, Near my laptop, I would log on on my laptop, but most times it's my cell phone. I applied, I think I applied for the job via the platform and then someone from the office contacted me and they arranged an interview. They, I believe they used the in-app in messaging feature first and then thereafter they communicated with me via e email. I think the first conversation was that they, they found my resume online, but then they said that they wanted to set up an interview with me and we did the interview and after the interview, they let me know if I was successful, then I would move on. They would prepare a contract and send it to me and then I would be a part of the orientation exercise that they were planning. It wasn't long, probably about two weeks. Oh, the name of the employer is Home Concierge. <laughs> what caught my eye? Um, to be honest, I have a passion for helping others. Mm -hmm. I believe that if I wasn't on this planet for that purpose, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be happy at all. So the fact that I was able to help people, um, you know, who have different illnesses, different, um, you know, different needs, so to speak. That is what attracted me to, to the company. And I've always been very good with working with seniors, mm -hmm. even though my, my experience was in human resource management. But in my job that I did for 12 years, I used to interact a lot with pensioners. So that was like the starting point for it, you know.
interacting with the, with seniors and with the elderly. So that's what attracted me to the job. I was excited because I was searching for a very long time and I really wanted to get out there and get in the field. And then what was important too is because I have a son, so it's not it's not so easy to find jobs that are flexible, you know. So I was able to to pick up shifts that are um, convenient for me. So that's another thing that was a plus too. I feel great. I mean, as I said, I still get emails from you guys and I still log in and check, you know, even though I am, you know, still employed. Um, but yeah, um, I'm happy that I made the decision to, to create that login and that password and just um, created a profile because that's where it all started. As I said, it opened the gateway for me. Yeah, because I guess persons sometimes tend not to have the patience to, you know, follow a process right through. But if you don't do that, then first of all, you won't get noticed. Um, and then you're, you won't be able to, ex to give yourself the right exposure because you don't have all the information that is necessary to, to complete your profile or get it up to completeness. So it's important that you do so because you're only um, shortchanging yourself, really and truly. It's a very easy platform to, to work with. You just have to follow the steps um, and try to complete your profile as best as possible. So, you know, upload all the relevant documents that they ask you to upload. And once you do that, you should be fine. You know, you'd be well on your way to to marketing yourself because at the end of the day your resume or your profile I should say is really your your marketing tool you know to get you out there to be noticed by employers so once you do that you should be well on your way to you know securing gainful employment <laughs>